Social Media University. You believe in this whole approach to business because of the success that you've had and your ability to build your brand, which has largely been off of social media. So can you speak to like your progression through using social and, and the steps and the different endeavors that you started with that brought you to loop? Yeah, hundred percent. I think it's a great question. Um, my earliest days of, uh, digital marketing broadly, I was running my laundry business and I was mostly email marketing in 2012. Um, so it's almost 10 years now I've been marketing. Um, and email was a little, I think there's been a resurgence in email, but for the last like eight years, it definitely somewhat died down. But at that point, that was the extent of my digital marketing. Then I kind of got into the creation of, into getting into creating content. And that was really interesting. Facebook at the time in 2013, 14, was not seen as a platform where you sell anything. Uh, I still remember like it was yesterday going to like one of these small business workshops and the you know teacher being like, Facebook is not a place where you sell, remember. Um, and that was true at the time, but I mean, I've, I've learned now that people take what things are for what they are today and maybe they don't, mm -hmm. They don't care to extrapolate around the bend and see what these things grow into, myself included at the time. But at that time, Facebook was all about the consumption. It still is, but it only had the consumption of media. It really didn't have a paid ads environment. And so as a result of it not having a paid ads environment, there actually, since there was very few ads, and you know, hadn't been hacked by Russia yet, and Cambridge and like all this crazy shit that we now know Facebook for. It actually was a space where you spent a lot of time on Facebook. You spent a lot of time on Facebook, consuming media, sharing media. There was a lot of like these web 1.0, these media, digital media 1.0 companies like Elite Daily, and like creating all this like snackable. And uh, BuzzFeed was crazy then. I think they've mm. uh, like they're still relevant, but not as relevant as they were then. For sure. And so then I, I, I kind of wet my beak creating content. Um, and then I would say the next tier was around 2016 into 17 when Instagram really started taking hold of the culture. And it just like clearly became a, pl a place, a space where if you're a creator, then you, you have to play here. And in reflecting back on it, I think I was a too young and b just unequipped to capitalize on what was happening on Facebook at the time. I was still so new. I was just catching my bearings, mm -hmm. but I remember I sat down with my former business partner at Harlem capital and he was like, yo, you gotta be on Instagram heavy. And it just like, it made sense to me cause I had already seen what happened on Facebook and I already seen how Facebook was like on the gradual decline. But that's okay. That was okay because I didn't have any presence on Facebook. So I said, you know what? Okay, let me go all in on, on Instagram. And I feel like I caught Instagram on the way up versus on mm. Facebook. I was coming in on the way down. Much like how you're catching TikTok on the way up. You're going in early on TikTok. And TikTok has even more potential than, than Instagram. So it's going to pay off big for you. I went all in on TikTok or on, on Instagram and I slowly caught my footing and I complimented it with a lot of speaking and a lot of every, it was just my digital hub. And now over the years, I now have a presence where, you know, I can make an, an, my living entirely off of producing content on Instagram. If I wanted, it's a secondary thing for me because I'll always be an entrepreneur first. But going all in on the right medium at the right time can m significantly change the next five years of your life. Um, and I look back on that like, wow, I'm really glad that I made that bet. And by the way, I'm seeing deja vu all over again. And I feel frustrated with myself that at the rise of TikTok, 
I still only saw it like, ah, you know, it's this, you know, dance thing. And you and others on my team were like, no, no, you got, you got to go all in. And so I'm making yeah. the effort to jump in, but, um, yeah. And, and so, so that's, that's really kind of been the journey. Of course, there's more to it, but yeah, LinkedIn is in that space. Clubhouse is in that space. TikTok is in that space. I think those are the three best platforms for organic right now.